Welcome to Pandora's Box video tutorials. In this lesson we want to show you how to add a widget designer device to the device tab in order to program widget designer commands directly into the timeline of Pandora's Box. First, we have to make sure that the IP connection between the Pandora's Box master and the widget designer matches. Therefore, we check the IP address and the domain. In the widget designer, open Pandora's Box IP configuration. Check the address and the domain and click on Enable Connections. This connection allows you to run Pandora's Box and the widget designer on the same machine or on two different machines. Pandora's Box will show a red exclamation mark in the Device tab when these settings are set wrong. Back in Pandora's Box, go to the Device Types tab. Drag the Widget Designer device into the Device tab and the Values device into the Widget Designer device which has the site ID 2. We have now two layers. A script layer with the device ID 1 and a values layer with the device ID 2. Let's start with programming a loop to have a continuous playback of the following commands and values. Make two queues. The second one as a jump queue to the first. With a right click in the timeline in the command line, we generate a command value. In the inspector, open the drop down menu and type WDF to get the command WD fader up. Select it and add it. With this command, we want to move the fader with the ID 1 in the widget designer up within one second. Let's do the same with fader down two seconds further. After that we insert some values in the value layer. We want to start with zero. Then go up to 255 and back to zero. With a second right click you can enter a value. Set the now pointer, play and go back to the widget designer. In the widget designer we now create a widget designer device input node. Double click on the node to see the item properties. Type in the Pandora's box source IP of the master and the widget designer site ID and device ID of the widget designer device we created in Pandora's box. We can see that the script and the values are already coming in. So let's check if the fader is working as well. Go to Create, Fader Control, Fader Vertical. As the first fader is automatically created with the ID 1, the fader is already working. Thank you for your attention.